know. Last week on You Fish TV, we fished the legendary waters of Eagle Hawk Neck, Tasmania and met a couple of passionate fishing families as they trolled for southern bluefin tuna. We also showed you how exciting and effective casting stick baits tuna can be. Well this week we're heading back to the breathtaking eagle hawk neck to share with you a very special moment that has been many years in the making. I hope you all enjoy the show. You've had a go before, haven't you? Yes, certainly have. Last year, um, we did a trip with Brendan's boat. Um, first 10 minutes on the first day at the little rock, hooked up to a barrel, caught it for 20, 25 minutes, and it got sealed, unfortunately. So hopefully we get another crack at it while we're down here this trip. It'll be really good. Okay, the next person I'm going to introduce you to is Stuart Nichols. Stuart has been basically a local down here, Eagle Hawk Neck here his whole life. He moved away for a while, but he came back. He set up his own charter business. And I'm going to say it right now, tuna, as far as tuna fishing goes, Stuart is the number one tuna fisherman in the land. And I'm not talking about numbers of fish here, he gets plenty of those. But when it comes to big barrel tuna, I don't think there's anyone in a recreational form that can say they've caught as many 100 kilo bluefin as this fella. So we're on the right boat. And I guess the difference between Stewie and most other people I know is when they're hooked, they're usually landed. And that is why we're on this boat. How you going there, mate? G'day, Wingle. Welcome back to Tassie. Thanks for those kind words. No worries, mate. So tell us a bit about what's been going on this season, mate. Well, it's been another bumper season here, yeah, really good. Yeah, the school fish have been pretty plentiful. We're starting to get a few, few of these big jumbos again now, which is, just really gets me excited. Awesome, mate. So what do you reckon the chances are we're going to see one in the next few days? Oh, I reckon we're a real good chance. We've been uh, seeing these big fish up on the surface busting a fair bit over the last couple of weeks. They're certainly here. Uh, now we've just got to entice one onto uh, one of our lures. And what do you think about the boys from the mainland coming over with these little wimpy thread lines? Well, the proof will be in the pudding. Yeah, we don't use these thread lines, we've got the, the traditional gear, but uh, yeah, that's a good challenge for me and I can't wait to see them in action. Excellent mate, good work. It's absolutely amazing, I tell you. That cliff's only 40, 50 metres away. It's probably 100 metres high, this is one of the smaller ones. But we nearly got that again under the boat, right against the cliffs here at 60 metres of water. There's a lot of uh, north to south natural current here and a lot of bait on the sander. There's no wonder the, the big fish are in close. Why would you go to the shelf to round up your fish when you can just come here and be lazy and mooch around the rocks and pick off a feed? And I guess that's what they're doing. And like you said, we don't necessarily have to see birds to catch fish. Plenty of big barrels are just caught in the middle of nowhere, just out of the blue. And I've actually been experienced in seven blue, uh, large bluefin hookups now. And I reckon, just on a quick recount, probably four of those were just out of the blue and the rest were with birds. So you just never know when it's gonna happen. And it's definitely a case of match the hatch. And I just, saw, I just saw a big splash out the front of the boat here. We're gonna match the hatch. We're gonna keep small lures because pretty much the bait they're on here is small. Probably six inches the biggest we're gonna run, maybe seven inch. And 
a little bit angry and upset. It is keeping them going. Guess what? What is it, Winger? It's a big fish. That's a better fish. Look at the spool. I've never seen a spool that empty on the old trip, Stu. It's left handed, mate. Uh, we'll just do your best for as long as you can. I know that sounds silly, but there's only about 100 metres of line left. He's taken 300 already. Just wait there, mate. Serious wait. Stewie. Back to drag off. Stewie. We're going to have to chase him, mate, just to get some line back on the reel. He's used a lot of energy, so let's get him back. Stewie, you have to go hard on him, mate, to get back as much as you can. Do it smart. Come from mine. Oh, mate. They all hit the same speed, the barrels and the little ones all hit the same speed. The difference is the barrel keeps going. Stewie's heading towards, he's heading south mate. And we better move, we better move. We better really move, put the throttle down. One of the problems is it's a left-handed reel and he can't do it left-hand, he's been struggling all trip. But we have one team, one dream here, the only goal of this trip is to get one in the boat. We're all going to have a go. Even Lockie's going to have an experience of barrel today. Oh yeah, woohoo! You can give him a pump, you can get on him for as long as you want mate, as long as you can handle him. One team, one dream, get it in the boat. Doesn't, doesn't and there's no question out. about it, it's a barrel. Yellow, the ter tuna terror. It's on the yellow it's tuna terror. It's on the yellow tuna terror. Me favourite, me number one lure I've had for three years. It's been running in this corner all yesterday and today. It's been the number one lure on the boat. And it has not disappointed again. It's got a big fish. How much line's off the reel? This is basically a 24 kilo outfit. Um, this is not an 80, so... And you're doing all right for someone that doesn't fish left-handed. We've got back 50 metres, which is a really good thing. Oh, just, just, just conserve your energy, mate. Use it wisely. Once we've got some line back on that... Once we've got some line back on there, we can put the pressure back on the fish again. We were getting a lot of school fish down the pillar. And I said to Stuart, do you mind if we run back up inside Munro Bight? There's no action up in Munro Bight here. Nothing. No birds, no seals. But we were hoping for a hit out of the blue. We come right up to the lanterns here. We've got a double hook up of schoolies. The seals got them. Stuart said, we'll just go up to the lantern. We've done a U-turn at the lantern. And the number one rod of the trip has gone. And like 400 metres was gone in about a minute and a half. We've got it back. We've um, probably got back 50 metres, but at the moment, just relax. Just let hurt. Just click little bits of line, mate. Here's the plan. We're not going to go chasing the fish all over the place. We're going to do it for a little while now because the fish has just had a big run. He's exhausted. He'll get his breath back, though, if we chase him too much. So we're going to quickly try and get as much line as we can back on the reel, and we'll start again and we'll play dead boat, we'll make that fish pull everything off it again if he has to and that'll exhaust him even more 
and we're hoping we can knock this fish over inside an hour. That would be nice. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> but the job ain't done yet. No, that's right. You worked your butt off, Paul. Yes. Put in the hard yards. Firm believer if you do the hard yards, you get the rewards in the end. It's been a long time. First trip last year. Barrow in the first 10 minutes. Seal's got it. We've, we've worked really hard the last few days. Getting everything ready to go. It's taken a long time. Testing knots. Re-rigged every lure. All the one percenters. We just gotta hope this hook sticks now, it's happened. We hit it hard. He hit it very hard, mate. Careful of that thing there. You can do it. How's it feel, mate? The first barrel you've seen? Oh, I've seen a couple, but this one's this one's taken a lot more line than I've ever 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 experienced before, so I'm sure it's gotta be a big one. Woo! Right. So you've been on board for barrels before? Oh, I've never never been on one where we've cracked a hundred, but yeah, we've got a few AEs, that sort of sort of that sort of stuff, but I reckon this one will go a little bit more than that. <laughs> well the U fish crew's finally got onto a barrel. It looks like we're in for the long haul now. I'm pretty sure you'll be back after the break, won't you? See you then. <laughs> <laughs>